Ecovivarium presents Miracles Big and Small, Episode 2. Hi guys, today on Miracles Big and Small, I want to introduce you to Trixie T-Rex. She's a new female iguana that has come into Ecovivarium through one of the local shelters. She was found on the streets and was in distress, brought into the shelter, and they contacted us. Uh, she wasn't eating, she wasn't very responsive, but she was definitely allowing them to handle her, which tells us that she was once a pet somewhere. So Trixie is a green iguana. Technically, I guess you could say she's a red green iguana, as you'll see in the video. But she hasn't eaten in approximately two weeks. So today's effort was to get her to eat. We were feeding her a pureed baby food of squash, peaches, and apples, supplemented with some essential vitamins, minerals, and bee pollen to stimulate her appetite. The rough part for Trixie is that right now we don't know if she is reabsorbing her eggs or if they're just forming. So after her veterinary check, it was determined that we will try to get her to eat let her mouth injuries heal that she had and continue to work with her as we wait to see if the eggs are forming or if they're reabsorbed. Now those are the two best outcomes. If they are just in a stagnant position uh, known as follicular stasis, then we are going to have to do surgery on her. We'll know that in about three and a half weeks. If we do, we're looking at a significant amount of money to do that, to do basically a spay and removal of all those eggs. I'll make sure to attach a picture of her x-ray that shows all of those follicles or eggs, whichever they are, in her belly. And you can imagine with all of that, she probably didn't want to eat. but Nutrition is essential, and since it's been two weeks and we've not seen any dramatic changes in her physically, our concern is that it is going to be a surgical situation. For right now, stabilizing her, keeping her healthy, and getting some nutrition into her is what's important. So without further ado, here's Trixie. Come on, it's okay. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Eat a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know. We're both wearing as much as you've eaten, huh? We're both wearing as much as you've eaten. I know, and that puppy makes you nervous, doesn't he? But you're okay. You're a good girl. Glad to see you're eating. Glad to see you're finally eating. Come on. Come on, Trix. There we go. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Here, let's try a little more. Oh, yum, yum. See? That's a good girl. Oh, good girl, Trixie. Good girl, Trix. Here we go. Such a good baby. Such a good baby girl, yeah. It's okay, he won't hurt you. He just wants some. He wants to share it. He says he likes the squash and everything too. See, we're eating squash, and we're eating apples, and we're eating some peaches. Yum. Huh, that's good stuff. Isn't it, Trixie? Yeah. You can see she has an injury to her mouth there. So it's been a little painful for her to eat. So the puree diet seems to be working quite well for her. And although she's a little apprehensive because I brought my puppy dog today, uh, she is doing quite well. So thanks, guys. Trixie will be 
hopefully staying here at the museum and become an education ambassador one day. So we're going to go get cleaned up because I think I'm wearing as much as Trixie here is. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. Say bye, Trixie.